Hi all, as always, welcome to today's video for Twisted Cards. So today we're going to go over a Chilling Rain Elite Booster Box. Um, I've had it up on the cabinet now for quite a while. I think I got it as like when it first came out. Um, naturally, it's first and foremost a chance to get in, um, get a good couple of packs in and opening. You know, it's always needed and wanted. Um, secondly, these are unbelievably great boxes for storage. I'm not going to lie. So like a lot of the bulk I get ends up in one of these boxes you can't underestimate the value that brings um so without further ado let's get into this box and see exactly what we've got in so we've got a chilling rain book which is going to tell me all the chase cards all the hit cards all that good stuff uh, let's get the lid off so it's a bit of the rubbish got a bin right there uh, more importantly it's also going to give me a load of these and i am slowly slowly running out which I never thought I'd ever have to say that, but it's been a nightmare. Um, I've opened so many packs of late, it's been unreal. So in terms of actual packs, right, what do we got? So we got eight booster packs of Chilling Rain. Happy days, that's a fair old chunk. Loads of energies. I don't get enough opportunity to play the actual online game. Uh, Swan Shield, Elite Trainer Box, Shadow Rider. One of those for you all, best of luck. I think it's just for a single card, but I am never going to use it, so please, by all means, go for it. We've got random dice, we've got the old dividers, one empty box. So, without further ado, if I can find my scissors, let's get into the packs. So, this is what we're here for. So, I've just finished a, a mini series up on Chilling Rain for the I don't know, I'll boost the box basically. I've been opening up and I pulled the Moltres, so naturally, now for me, I want to see what other. Alternative versions of the birds I can get. I'd love to get sort of up those and not agree no, because let's be honest, it's going to be absolutely cool as hell to have all three. But I got the best one. I got Moltres. You know that is that's the one I like. That's my favourite one. The artwork on these packs aren't bad either. To be fair, I can't complain at these. Right, reverse territory. So the first pack is giving us a non holographic. So it's uh, Tassarina. Not a bad card, pretty cool looking, um, but it is a non-hit for the first packet. And I must admit, I, apart from the, obviously the storage on these, because let's be real, it's absolutely great. I've always been wondering is, you know, in terms of value for the box, is it worth it? You sort of do your £42, they're £3.99 a pack normally, da -da -da, and you sort of work out in your mind. In terms of the boxes though, I've not had much luck when it comes to hits. I really haven't, or not enough luck. So I suppose my point I'm getting to is I'll be curious to see what everyone else is sort of getting on the Chilling Rain front if you've been opening much of it. I know obviously Battle Styles has been and gone and a lot of people are on Fusion Strike now which is obviously a pretty cool set as anyone that's been in this channel for a little while knows that I've just been opening pack after pack. Hey, there we go. And... Oh, okay. So it's a Glarian Weezing. It's again non-holographic. Not a bad looking card. So... The artworks is actually yeah, really good for this set to be fair. Like there's there's no cards I've looked at and gone, what the hell is that sort of thing. So no, I can't complain. Yet I'll be concerned if I get to pack four and five and I've not gone and pulled too much or I'm sat here sort of with everything being nothing if that makes sense. But we can only but hope. We two cards in one, a couple of trainers, a couple of energies. Go, good old trusty Diglett, good old school bunny. Don't know why everything's a good old, it's just I'm just going along with it. Reverse and oh wow, free for free. So it's a pass mini. Oh, I can't say that at all. <laughs> I give up. Um, do you know what? Again, the Lycan Rocks are cool looking cards and. It isn't a bad looking one, so the avid collector in me says, do you know what, as long as the artworks are cool, I, I'm happy, I'm not, obviously you want to see all the great stuff, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it as such. Right, pack four, we're halfway already. I'm a bit worried I'm going to either A, a bit too quick, or not fast enough, I suppose with these videos you never quite know if you, you know, you're going to be blowing chunks and just getting it done a bit too quick. But I don't like to waste people's time as such I want to get into the packs and show what we got that sort of get in and get out 
Cool, so I'm looking down, so I'm looking at the artworks as they're coming up, and a few of them are pretty cool. So Reverse Territory and, wow, another non-holographic. Well, if you got this far and uh, you haven't done so, please consider that subscribe, because I feel like I need a bit of a morale boost after the four packs there. Um, naturally, consider that thumbs up, all that sort of good stuff. And leave us a comment, you know, if you've got a favourite card that you've seen, it'd be nice to hear about it. That would be pretty awesome. One of those for you all. Best of luck. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Second half. Will it turn itself around? We are all but hopeful. Come on. E coffin. So got, got coffin, got the wheezing. It's pretty cool. And reverse. Can I hold my breath a little bit? Okay, it's a holographic. It's a greedent. It's still a hit, it's not the best of hits in the world, it's still a hit, so we'll pop that to the side and we will go pack number three, come on Zapdos, be the one, pull me something decent and coincidentally I've got one of each artwork left so you know this could really play out to be great and the second half of this opening could be absolutely really good, really really good. Okay, bit of fire, that's what we like to see. Porygon 2, never made sense to me. I would have thought they'd at least change the name on it, but I suppose the story behind it is this sort of a manufactured Pokemon, isn't it? Got a Farfetch, bit of a Weedle, Cast Form, Reverse, and a. Hey, there we go. So we got a. Oh, Zerora. It is a V. It is a hit at last. We've got a proper, proper hit. Uh, I'm going to do Blasphemy and use the Vivid Voltage because I like these sleeves better than the others. But at least it's something to put in a sleeve, so I'm happy. I'm saving Moltres till last because Moltres is the most awesome. Hardakuno next in terms of the pack arts. Here we go. One of those for your best of luck. Be good to hear as well. If, if people actually do get anything decent from these, you know, on the online side of things, it'd be good to hear if you know what you pulled, if it's all anything good. I'd like to think that I've really helped someone step their game up on the online format. It might not be anything sort of sensational, but it is something that's I've always pondered about. I'd like to think that I'm doing that little bit of something to help someone. Right, and a. Oh, okay. Right, so we got really. I think no, there was a third Porygon. Okay, so we got a Porygon Z. Mate, that's a strong old stack as well. Discard to, uh, discard to energy. That's an, it's an odd-looking Pokemon. I did not know it existed. I have learned something new today. Wow, oh, okay. It's always good when you learn something new. As you can probably tell on camera, I caught myself out there. I didn't know that was a thing. That moment should have read the book, really, shouldn't I? It would have told me all I needed to know. Right, last pack. It is Moltres. We're going for that last pack magic. We're going for that last bit of hopefulness and greatness. And it'd be nice to think that I didn't do this whole box of the 1v. But it'll be what it'll be. I'm, I can't complain. It is what it is. Come on, what's that? Cool. I'm holding my breath again. Far fetched. Cast form. That, honey, I've seen that reverse, that's like the second time I've got that one. And a, oh, okay, so it's a Glarian, so far-fetched. It's a non-holographic to finish this opening, but again, not drastically mad about it. It's not a bad-looking card. Uh, to sum up these half boost, uh, these ETBs, uh, apart from the storage implications, I'm not going to lie, I don't think they're drastically worth it. I mean, the sleeves are pretty cool, I'm happy with that. Is what it is. I'm, I'm sure I'll get another one or I'll open up the, the white one in the back there and be like, yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, still, thank you for taking the time to have a watch. I'm rambling on now, I do apologise. Uh, if you haven't done so, please consider that subscribe. Um, I'm couple shy of my 300 target. Be greatly appreciated. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching.